Mohamed Salah took his goal tally to 23 in all competitions with a second half double to help Liverpool come from behind to beat Leicester City 2-1 at Anfield in the Premier League on Saturday. Chelsea had no such struggles at home to Stoke City, with Mark Huggess men thrashed 5-0 at Stamford Bridge, as the league's most porous defence called to cope with their rampant hosts. Chelsea climbed to second, above Manchester United after Jose Mrejo's men were held to their third successive draw following a R2O stalemate against Southampton at Old Trafford in the late kick-off. Romelu Lukaku was carried off on a stretcher in the first half and United looked toothless in attack in the Belgium international's absence, mustering just three shots on target. A win for neighbours Manchester City at Crystal Palace on Sunday will see Pep Guardiola's men move 16 points clear at the top of the standings and 17 ahead of United. One of the performances of the day came at Vicarage Road where Swansea City netted two late goals to come from behind to beat Watford and climb off the bottom of the table, as Carlos Carval Hall's tenure got off to a winning start. However, the spotlight once again was on Liverpool striker Salah, who continues to look unstoppable in front of goal. Jamie Vardy once again scored against a big six side after being picked out by Riyad Moe in the first half at Anfield and Leicester held on until Salah took centre stage. Two neat second-half finishes took the Egypt international to 17 for the season, one behind Tottenham Hotspur striker Harry Kane, with the goals sealing the victory that sees Liverpool move to 12 unbeaten in the league, their best run under Judge Klopp, and opens up a four-point gap over Spurs in fifth. Salah, can keep this standard for sure, he's young, improving, it's not only about scoring goals, Klopp said. He is so important for us. He knows and I know he called to score so many without the fantastic support from the other boys. I think he can keep the standard. Four points ahead of Liverpool, Chelsea was out of sight after 23 minutes against Stoke with goals from Antonio Rudiger, Danny Drinkwater and Pedro putting the champions in command. Willis' second-half penalty and a Davide Zappacosta goal put the seal on a fourth win in five league games for Antonio Cornt men. We know we must continue to work and improve, and prepare for a very difficult game against Arsenal, said Conti, whose second-place side is now 13 points behind Manchester City. There was plenty of movement down at the bottom of the table, with Swansea no longer propping up the division after goals from Jordan Ayew and Luciano Arsai in the final four minutes of the match cancelled out Andre Carrillo's opener for Watford to seal a first win for Carvalho. Bournemouth was also a big mover, as two goals from Ryan Fraser ensured Eddie Howe's men climbed out of the bottom three and up to 13th after a 2-1 victory over Everton, with Sam Allardis tasting defeat for the first time as Everton manager. Newcastle missed its chance to climb clear of the relegation zone after being held to a R2O draw by Brighton at St James Park, while Huddersfield and Burnley also played out a stalemate.